Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your spirit messages for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, please check the description box below for any uh, information that you need about me, personal readings, how to book one, um, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. Also, if you are new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you to everybody for all your support. Really does mean a lot to me in supporting the channel, helping in its growth and spreading the messages out to the people that need to hear them. And whether you've you know, newly subscribed, whether you've reached out for personal reading, whether you've uh, tipped or donate as an energy exchange is very, very much appreciated. And again, thank you for the support and being a part of the channel and the community here. So thank you, thank you so much. So Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. What does spirit want you to know? could be now, whenever you see this, doesn't necessarily have to be just for the month of November, can be from whenever you see this and on. So I do consider all the readings timeless, even though I do put dates on them. It's just so my viewers or uh, whoever sees them knows in which order I uploaded them. So that's the only reason why I date them. But let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. Happy fall, happy November. So take what resonates. I guess throw away what doesn't. All right, Sagittarius. So um, I will pull three oracles from each deck and then we'll clarify with tarot. So if you want to skip ahead uh, and prefer not to watch the shuffling, then that's totally fine. All right, Sagittarius. What messages do we have? Sagittarius for the month of November spirit, please. What do they need to know at this time? What does Sagittarius need to know? Well, that's four. Thought it was three. Messages for Sagittarius, please. And that one, okay. Oh, there's two there, that one. One more. One more for Sagittarius. Okay, we'll get three from this deck. Can you believe we're in November already? I cannot believe that. Where is time going? So this is the last series for November, and then I'll be starting all my December readings, and I'll be decorating for Christmas already, if you can believe that. So I do like to change it up here. So every um, holiday or season or whatever, I put a different theme. So what messages do we have? Okay, I think that one wants to come out. Sagittarius, what messages do we have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know at this time? Spirit, please, thank you so much. What other messages for Sagittarius? That one. All right, let's get three. Three from this deck. This is the Life Purpose deck, so... Let's see what this has to say. What messages do we have? Okay. Sagittarius at this time. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what we have. Sagittarius. We have Clear the Fog, which is 13, 13, one, three is four, is about stability, foundation. Clear the fog. So I might read a little bit on in the book about that, but I am assuming here that there's something that um, you may be indecisive about or you're not sure about or you're not something you're not seeing clearly here. So you may need to get all the facts um, to see something clearly here. And then we have see the light here. So this is uh, 33. You may want to look up that angel number 33, which th three is a very social number to me, but I'm sure uh, as an angel number has a different meaning, but 336, six is a very healing, balancing number to me. Also here, see the light. I might read from this here and drop it. So there's something here, uh, three, three again. So three is a big number. So you got 13, 33, and three. And uh, Sagittarius are nine there, which is divisible by three. So <laughs> three is a big number here. You might want to look up angel number three, 33. We have one, two, three, four, four threes here. So let's see, number 
13, which is Claire the Fog. Let's see what that has to say. Life looks a bit foggy now, and your ego is distorting the truth. It's time to summon the pure heart of your spirit so that you're correctly informed. The first step to clearing away the confusion is to take nothing personally. Stay aware and learn as much as you can. Listen closely. Observe the details. Be on guard for a tendency to interpret things from an overly emotional point of view, especially when it comes to behaviors of others. Ask your spirit to be clear on what you want from those around you and say so with love. Express your clear heart without being overly emotional or vague. Allow your spirit to speak for you. Breathing calmly as you, as you do and expecting the best. The fog will lift and the pollution of the present will clear. Okay. So then we have See the Light, which is 33. The great illusion of the ego is that it sees itself as less than or better than others. This creates a false sense of separation and isolation, cutting you off from the divine flow of life. The spirit within knows we're all the same source and honors self and others equally. The ancients call the false sense of ego separation stinkai. The sad affliction of not seeing the shared beauty of spirit and all. Where in your life are you suffering from stink eye? Where do you feel less than or better than those around you? Where are you feeling inadequate or superior? Where do you feel jealous or indifferent? Where are you feeling angry or, insecure, or insecure? This false perception is robbing you of your right to inner peace and it cuts you off from source. So there's a lot to read here. I don't think I'm going to read that all. But um, and each, each person in your life mirrors you back to yourself. If you feel less than another, you're properly value, valuing your endowments and beauty. If you're feeling superior, you're depriving yourself of the gifts of another. So this is just about seeing the light in other people and yourself, looking on the positive side and not feeling superior or not seeing things in the state of like ego and then there's drop it here so there's something here that um i don't know that you just may need to drop if it's um could be anything could be uh something that's been like bogging you down or been on your mind or overthinking or whatever here uh spirit just wants you to know just let it just drop it let it be let it flow go naturally so these two almost go together, um, clearing the fog. That's about clear communication, seeing things clearly, um, and that sort of energy, getting all the facts, and also seeing the light you know, from within yourself and seeing the light in others, and being connected also, I feel, to like divine energy source, listening to your gut and your intuition, that kind of energy. All right, what else do we have here for Sagittarius? We have the Emperor. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. So this is someone who takes charge. So spirit wants you to take charge, take the lead. This is a ruler, emperor. This could be, you know, being a boss, a uh, business owner, CEO, or being someone accomplished that you want to be, that you can be this emperor that you want to be. And then we have the three of summer here, news, Worthy news worth celebrating announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births, friends you cherish. Three of summer energy is all, all, always an energy of me of like reuniting with someone, reuniting, rejoicing, celebrating, having a good time. It does say celebrating there. So there may be some news coming into you that uh, will be worth celebrating, whether it's um, an engagement announcement, a wedding announcement, births, graduation. Or you could be reuniting with somebody, having a good time there, celebrating. And then we have the moon here, powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. So the moon energy here, you know, it's almost like the same energy here as clear the fog. Like in the moon, you can't see things totally clearly in just the moonlight at night. Just like fog, you can't see things clearly. But light, wow, okay, light always clears the fog. Always clears the fog, wow. So, yep, yeah, so, 
so the moon is always, you know, it can be about deep feelings. It can be about listening to your gut, your intuition, uh, letting go of worry and fear and getting clarity and, you know, things coming to light and understanding either a situation or just something coming to light for you. All right, so let's see what else do we have here. We have options. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So you may have options coming, career options coming into you in the month of November or beyond. Trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So again, trusting that the universe is setting you on the path that you're meant to travel, though it may not feel like it at times. Just a trust in that energy, a trust in your dreams, your feelings, your gut, your intuition. And counseling, you heal with kind words, wise advice, and empathetic, empathetic, and empathetic ear. Blah. So, I mean, maybe some sort of counseling or guidance may help you um, in a situation, whether it's uh, like counseling for your career or counseling in a relationship, or for your own personal healing, or something like that. Or you could be somebody that counsels other people, whether you know it or not. You may give good advice, or you may listen and have kind words, and you may counsel people without even knowing it. You may have that energy about you. I don't know. So, a lot of different energies here, but I mean, trust in your career options and that you can be this emperor that you want to be. Though you, I feel like you may not see the way clearly right now under just the light of the moon, but there will be celebrating of some kind coming up or reuniting. But uh, drop it here. It could be fear. It could be ego. It could be um, any that kind of energy or something that maybe you're just like overthinking or uh, letting consume you or something and it's just spirits like you know it's just time to drop it let it be let it go and let it occur naturally and something may clear for you and you'll see things clearly and you'll see the light I feel coming up in November or beyond so let's clarify some of these with the tarot let's see what we get for you Sagittarius I think you'll see the light about something. I think as soon as you like drop it, let it be and not be so attached to it. Like the veil, the fog will lift and then you'll like see the light. You, like you'll see things with clarity. All right. So, you know, the emperor can be about taking charge, taking control of your emotions, your fear, your ego, that kind of energy also. So let's clarify here for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what is clear the fog? Wow. <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles shootout. Clear. So I feel there's a new beginning here for you, and it could be in your career or something like that. And this is a brand new beginning of abundance, wealth, prosperity, um, an opportunity to build on a firm foundation for your future moving forward. This is all, Pentacles is all about wealth, abundance, prosperity, monetary, career. So it's like you're not seeing this new beginning clearly. It's like foggy. It's like foggy to you. You're not seeing it. But spirit is like, it's right here. It's right here for you. This is a divinely guided, gifted thing for you. And here's the path to that pentacle, but you're not seeing it clearly not seeing it clearly right now for some reason all right so let's see let's see let's see what see the light is about for Sagittarius what do they need to see what is see the light about the nine of wands so that's your energy that's fire energy so this is the wounded warrior you know been through a hard battle struggle or fight um, but they have, you know, the strength, endurance to keep fighting, to keep going. So I think spirit says, you know, keep going, keep going. You may feel wounded. You may feel battered and tattered and, you know, just down for the count. But if you keep moving on, keep fighting on, you know, mustering up all your strength and endurance, that things will come to light for you and you will see the light in your situation. All right, so what's this drop it about? 
What is drop it about? What do they need to drop? What does Sagittarius need to drop? What is drop it about? The Sagittarius Priest Spirit. Thank you so much. All right, so we have the Six of Cups energy here. So this is um, people of your past, from your past. It could be family, friends, um, from childhood, from memories, nostalgia from the childhood. I mean, you could be thinking back a lot about your childhood, memories of the past. Maybe you're overthinking too much about, for some, I don't know, for some reason about your past. Something about your past, and maybe as a child, um, that you're overthinking. Like, why did this happen this way? Why did that happen that way? Um, but I think Spirit wants you to know, I think that energy is holding you back. You know, if you're looking back on your childhood, whoops, and um, thinking, you know, maybe things are in my life the way they are now because of my childhood or things of the past. Um, I think Spirit says, you know, just drop that energy, drop that way of thinking. Um, it could also mean, um, I don't know, dropping people from your past that you've known for a very long time that are no longer serving you. Because this is, you know, things that have to do with your past. I don't know why that would be here. I mean, can also speak of children, but um, I don't know. Let's see. I, don't, I think I need one more for that. So I don't know why that's here. Why is the Six of Cups here? You see, like, this child kind of, like, just the head down, kind of, like, reflecting. I'm getting a feeling of you like reflecting on your childhood and something maybe in your childhood in your past that really affected you and constantly thinking of like that's what's holding me back that's why almost like karma like you're thinking like this karma from my childhood is why things are the way they are now but spirit wants you to say no wants you to know no you can just drop that energy and be free of that energy anytime you want and you can move forward you know it's okay to think back you know, look back on the positive things and not the negative things that you think are holding you back now. That makes sense for any of you. All right, so what is this emperor about? What is this emperor about? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. So this is monetary material. Again, balance. So you will have, you will be standing in your emperor power and you will be very balanced here financially and always balanced in the future. You know, it may take some time. Pentacles are very slow moving. It may take some time, so you need to be patient. Um, but I do see in that sort of, Six of Pentacles energy, energy to me is always like the minor arcana, the major arcana of justice, which is about balance, truth, clarity. So things will balance out for you, I feel, and you will be in that, that emperor energy if that's something that you are trying to accomplish. So what is this three of summer about? What is this three of summer about? What is this three of summer about? What are we celebrating? Are we reuniting? Are we celebrating? What's going on with the three? Wow, okay, my cards are just like flying everywhere. <laughs> oh, Right, that's way too many. Sorry about that. Okay, so one for the three of summer. Let's take this one. Eight of Pentacles. So again, you know, working hard, mastering your craft. Um, you know, learning new skills, learning new things, you know, really working hard. And I think all that hard work will pay off and you'll have a reason to celebrate, you know, whether it's a new getting a new job opportunity or getting something new here that'll be worthy worthy of celebrating all your hard work and dedication and moving forward. Again, Pentacles, very slow, moving, hardworking energy, so please keep that in mind. It's all about patience and perseverance and putting in that effort and hard work. All right, so what is the moon about? What is the moon about? Wow. What is the moon about for Sagittarius? Okay. 
Five of Pentacles energy here. So I think, like, you're not seeing things clearly. Uh, what you're getting a lot of Pentacle energy here, which is about career, finance, material things, and that sort of energy. So the Five of Pentacles energy is about, it can be about monetary lack or worry about monetary lack, being, you know, abandoned, left out in the cold, um, that sort of energy. So right now, you're not really seeing things clearly. You're in this, this energy of feeling um, lack. You know, this is a feeling of lack here with the Five of Pentacles. So I think you, you know, you're not seeing clearly and you're not seeing into the future clearly as with the fog there because the fog is telling you here that you do have this brand new beginning. But right now, you're seeing it in the eyes of lack. Okay. So let's see, um, wow, lot, pentacle, 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 pentacles, heavily about career, finance. All right, so let's see what options is about for you, Sagittarius. What is options about for Sagittarius? Clearing this one. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. And this is good news coming in, the page of wands, fire energy. A good news coming in. It could be a career opportunity. It could be um, pages all about communication. Um, again, it could be like if you're waiting on a new job or, you know, or something like that. Or a career offer or something. This is good news coming in. It could be a project, endeavor. It could be passionate communication, but I'm not getting that with this energy. I'm getting um, career or um, an endeavor or a project or something like that. You know, you have options or you've waiting on something and here's the good news coming in. All right. So what is this trust? Wow. So we have judgment here. So this is always like divine energy to me. Divine energy, like sending out that judgment call on telling you to trust. This is like divine energy telling you to trust in your situation, whatever it is for you right now. This is like a judgment call. This is um, making a judgment call or making a decision. It can be about forgiveness, resurrection of something. But it's like the angel here blowing down the horn saying, hey, listen, you know, just trust in this path that we've set for you right here with this pentacle. You may not see it clearly now because you're in the illusion of fog. But if you keep moving on, you keep fighting on, you will see the light. Don't let negative energy hold you back from the past. You need to drop that energy. Wow. Okay. So there's a lot of, a lot of career, uh, monetary, material energy here. All right. So what else for this counseling? What else? This counseling. What is this about? Oh my God, we got the emperor twice. <laughs> wow. We have the emperor twice for counseling. So this says you heal with kind words, wise advice, and empathetic ear. And we have the emperor here. So again, somebody who's in control and charge, who's a ruler who takes the lead. So yeah, so you could, I mean, you could have that energy about you without even knowing it. Or there could be someone around you who is like a leader to you that is giving you um, like kind of good advice. Could be a friend, co-worker, could be anybody. Wow, okay. So let's go over the bottom of the deck. Before I go over the bottom of the deck, uh, Sagittarius, if you do like my style and how I read, I ask that you please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings and you won't miss out. You get four readings a month. You'll get a spirit guide messages, what you need to know. You'll get a singles reading if you're single who's coming towards you. If you have a connection with somebody, you'll get a love connection reading. And then also a general tarot forecast for the month, which is a general reading. So if you're interested in all that, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we got the Queen of Pentacles, but it can be King or Queen. It doesn't matter. It's just energy. So this is somebody who's sort of like the Emperor energy. 
this is someone who's stable, secure, makes their money. It's very smart, analytical, practical, good with finances. Um, here, so here's the pentacle on your path. And here's you actually holding that pentacle. So, you know, the pentacle is there on your path. And you can grasp it and move forward by putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. And keep fighting and going on. And getting out of this energy of feeling lack and things of the past or negative energy holding you back. Because it's, it's holding you back because you have this good news coming in. A good energy coming in. <clears throat> And divine energy here has made a judgment call. They know your path. You just need to trust in the universe. Listen to wise guidance around you. It could be from a boss. It could be from, you know, a friend, co-worker, family member. It could be anybody here. But here, here you are holding that pentacle and being secure, abundant, stable, grounded. But, you know, I think you're overthinking too much about things. This is the Four of Swords. This is kind of like just, he. it's kind of like healing, thinking, you know, taking time for yourself. Um, you see, he's kind of meditating, but I just get this energy of like you're overthinking things like way too much. But again, Three of Pentacles is working together, teamwork, collaboration, working with others, learning new skills, learning new things. Three. So we got two threes here. So, wow, we had all the threes in the beginning. Now we have two threes here. So three, and we have the three of cups over there. Lot of threes here. So I would suggest looking up that angel number of three, maybe 33. And there may be a message in there for you. But this is, you know, you see your ship out in the distance. You know the path you want to take. You know the journey you want to sail on. But it's just patiently waiting for that to arrive. So again, hermit going within, uh, finding your way, your light. Um, again, I think you're overthinking. I mean, this is about like finding your peace from within, doing that inner journey, soul work, and finding your light, finding your way, your path. But it could be mental entrapment here holding you back. Again, I feel with overthinking too much. And here we have, um, for some of you, it could be a we did have three cups over there this can speak of like soulmates coming together but chariot here moving forward fearlessly and balanced moving forward fearlessly balanced could be you know just moving forward and being aligned here with uh your path your way your light with yourself divine energy or you could be coming into a soulmate union but there's mental blockage you know trying to find your way in your light waiting patiently waiting for that ship to come in but doing the work you need to, maybe you're overthinking too much, but here's the pentacle in hand and it's there for you. Well, Sagittarius, so that was heavily all about, I feel, career, finance uh, kind of energy. So I hope this resonated for you, Sagittarius. If it did, um, comment, like, share, all that great stuff. I love to read the comments. Good luck to you here. Sending you the best. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channel is to always, always shine your light.